Heading down to check out the slips on Laurel Run up here in Archibald today. This is the site of the old garbage dump here for all the household garbage from Archibald. There's still some tires down there, but they threw everything up here. Everything from uh, household garbage, tires, and appliances. Still trekking down the road to the slips. A lot of cars on Route 6. We're parallel on Route 6 right now. The slips is actually not far from the, the highway. Looking up towards a pond that we used to call Bear Claw Pond. Past that copse of trees. Actually probably surrounded by the trees now. It was dug out around 1922 when there's strip mining up here. They hit a spring and it never dried out ever since then. A lot of minnows in there and turtles. Looking back at the road I just came in and the guardrail up top is Route 6. Walking down the road towards the slips, I could hear a lot of water flowing. Even though it was a few days since we had that storm, there's probably a lot of water in the slips. And at the slips, there's a popular swimming hole all oh, while well, I was growing up. And it was dammed up right around here by Marty Cummings and his friends, probably in the mid 30s. A lot of the rocks have washed away since then. We had a lot of heavy rains. But it's still here. It's probably uh, right now about four feet, four or five feet deep. A lot of water still coming down. Very cold water to swim in, even in the, the hottest summer. It stays cold here. And this is the deep spot right here, probably four or five feet deep. Cliffs on this side. A lot of people had many a picnic on these rocks down here. I'm heading back up now. This is the road where I came in. To the main road that goes up to Collie's Dam. Gotta turn right up there at the end of this road and that'll take us right up to the dam. Looking back towards the slips. On the road that leads up to Collie's Dam. The dam that was made on Laurel Run Creek. Another view of Laurel Run Creek. Headed up the road. Good day for walking today. Looking down at the rocks near the canyon. Another popular swimming spot. Still headed up towards Collie's Dam. That's a water filtration shed back when they used to use this water for the, the town. And they'd add the chlorine there, whatever they had to do. It was in that shed there. There's another one down further near the entrance of the slips, but that's long gone. This one still remains. Almost at the dam. Not sure if we could cross here because of all the water we had recently. Not going to get across here today. Well, it was a little bit too deep to walk through, but we're looking at Collie's Dam right there. Built by a man named Collie. He also built the White Oak Dam. And there was also a collie boy who drowned up here, probably in the 30s or 40s, in this dam here. I'm back now. There's that same pipe. Looks like they have a valve on this to release some pressure. Nice day in the woods. The buds are coming out, but they're not out completely yet. So you still get through the woods. The rock they had to cut out to make 
this road up to the dam. Looking down towards the canyon. Heading down the road, I'm gonna make a left right here and slog my way down the side of this hill to get to the canyon and bathtub. Heading down the path about halfway there. And this is where I came from. The edge of the road right there, by those rocks. A lot of water running today in Laurel Run Creek. I'm almost down at the bathtub, which is off to my right here. And the canyon will be back up this way. Once I see the bathtub, I'm gonna go back up the path here to the canyon. And there's the bathtub. Shaped like a bathtub, worn out by the water. And the last time I was here was a few years ago. It was not nearly this deep. This water's really rushing fast from that storm we had the other day. Right into the bathtub. You can't see the shape of it now because there's so much water going through it. And the water's lower in the summer, you can clearly see it's oval shaped like a bathtub. this way too and a little overhang here of rock and up towards the canyon this little path alongside the creek Right into the canyon from up on top of the rock. The kids used to jump into the water down here. It's probably about 20 feet deep. I'm going to be heading back again along this path. Trek up the side of the mountain to the road. Another view of the canyon where the water exits. The water cut through all those rocks. And it's a narrow path right here alongside the creek. Looking back up inside the canyon. Good flow of water today. This spot right here is probably about three or four feet deep. It's normally a lot less than that. Continuing along this narrow path. No snakes though, didn't see any snakes. Winding my way out of it on this small path. Looking back towards the bathtub, just come up this path, a different path than I went down, and I'm looking underneath this rock shelf. Looks like people might have had campfires in there a long time ago, and 
good place to go if you get caught in the rain up here. We come back towards the creek and that overhang rock and this is the path that I'm going to be taking back up to the top. Probably a 40 degree angle anyway, it's really steep. Well, I made it back up to the road. Had to crawl up this steep path. Hands and feet. All fours. It's a steep one. A lot of loose slate there too. At the top of the path and back out on the road. Heading back down. Back down by the gate and up in the background you can see the guardrail and the cars. That's Route 6. Looks like that might be a, an overflow creek for Bear Claw Pond because that is a spring fed pond from way back 1922 when they strip mined up here. Another road in to Bear Claw Pond and up the side of that field. Back out by the old Archibald dump. On the way out and right there is the car. Thank you.